Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to show you a tutorial on Leonardo AI. Learn how to use this free AI tool. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. Now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to Leonardo.ai website and we are going to sign up so just type your email here and click count me in once you've given your email address here you will be prompt into this message so you will have to join discord for you to expedite your sign up process so just click on join discord And so you're just going to sign up if you don't have any account in Discord. However, if you already have an account in Discord, then just log in. So you must complete a few more steps before you can talk. So just click on this for you to be able to get started. All right. So once you're done signing up in Discord or if you've logged in your Discord account, we are going to go back to Leonardo website and we are just going to click launch app and click on yes I'm whitelisted and there this is our Leonardo interface so at the upper left corner of our interface you have this what we call the tokens so these tokens are used for you to be able to generate your AI and if you want to upgrade your tokens so these are the following plans that you can avail so the plan is depending on how many tokens you want so if you want 8,500 tokens per month that is $10 and if it's 25 tokens per month, that's $24. If you want to have 60,000 tokens per month, that is worth 48 per month. So all you need to do is just subscribe to these plans. Now let's go back to Leonardo. All right, let's go over to our menu here. So this is our home. It is where you can see the featured models the recent creations and you can also see the upscaled one so this feature is temporarily disabled for now and you can also check what's trending so if you happen to like some of the creations here you just can click the heart react button here so it's actually according to how many hearts it received now for the community feed It's somehow the same with our home in personal feed it's where you can see your image generation so your past generations will appear here and then for training in data sets so you can create new data set you can edit a data set or you can click on the job status you can explore more on this and then for the fine-tuned models so here are the platform models that you can choose from here are the community models and your models and your favorite models here now let's go to the user tools so this is where it's exciting because this is where you can make your own model or you can create your own model so for ai image generation and then for alchemy you can click the button if you want to activate this one however alchemy is currently a paid only feature in beta preview 
trial functionality is coming shortly. So if you are going to subscribe to the plans earlier, then you will be able to activate this one. Okay, next is the prompt magic. So prompt magic is our custom render pipeline that has far greater prompt adherence and can improve the output with any chosen mod. Applies a 2 times multiplier to token cost due to higher GPU overheads. So it costs more. And then high contrast mode will give modifier images with more shadows. Turn this toggle off if you find that the outputs with PM version 2 are too dark for your chosen prompt. And then public images. So send images to the community feed. So you need to upgrade as well for you to be able to activate this button. And here are the image dimensions. You can just choose from here. The width, the height, and the ratio of your image. And the guidance scale is how strongly your prompt is weighed. Control net. It's, it allows you to influence your generations with input images. And for tilling, it's the ideal for repeating textures or backgrounds. Now, for the image prompt, it's where you can upload images that you want to generate. So for image to image, you are only allowed to upload one picture. And then for image prompt, you can upload two to three or more images and then for the advanced settings used pick seed the deterministic number for the random number generator and for the scheduler defines how noise affects the generation all right next so here in this part you are just going to write keywords or descriptions that you want your ai or your model to have so let's try to create a model here so that we can use our tools. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are just going to upload an image. So this time we are just going to use image to image. And we are going to click upload. So you can use any picture that you want. So I'm going to use this picture. And we are going to, you can adjust the strength here. And then we are going to type prompt here. So again, you can write anything that you want. For our fine-tuned model, we can choose from here. So it's either you are going to use the RPG version 4.0, Dream Shaper, Leonardo Diffusion, Leonardo Creative, Leonardo Select, Leonardo Signature, Stable Diffusion, Stable. Leonardo Signature, Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion 2.1, and or you can select a custom model. And you can just choose one from here, whatever you want. So we are going to choose RPG 4.0 for our picture. Okay, now we can start generating. So just click generate. Well, her face is pretty. However, the fingers are weird. They are actually weird. So <laughs> this is the reality of AI. So you have to keep on trying for you to get that perfect AI model. It's not just one generation then you will be able to get the perfect one you have to keep on trying so this is the fun part so it's where you keep on playing with the tools and everything here so that's it that's how easy you can use leonardo ai if you have questions please don't hesitate to write them below and i will see you guys next time bye